Hello everyone, and welcome to my guide to Skyrim character build perk spreads. I've received a few questions recently about how I set up the perk spreads for my recent character build, the Lamp Descendant, so I thought I'd put together a quick tutorial on how I went about doing it, with some sort of general tips for you if you'd like to put together your own. So the first thing to do, I suppose, is select a screenshot or piece of artwork for your build that you'd like to use for the background of your perk spread. So you can see here, I've already picked a background image that I'd like to use. And this one's good because it's got my character in the center, sort of clearly defined, and I've got plenty of space off to both sides for me to place my perks, and even a little bit of space down here if I don't mind obscuring her boots a little bit. Now, on the other hand, something like this might not be a great choice, because while it's a very exciting screenshot with um, my character Teldrin and this dragon here, I don't really have a lot of room except for maybe this strip down the side to place my perk text. So let's hop back over to this one for a bit. Now, once you've selected your image, you'll want to go ahead and pick a font that you want to use for your text. Now, you can, of course, use one of the native fonts for your system, or you can hop online to a site like 1001 Fonts and select one of the ones there. Um, searching something like for fantasy, for instance, will um, get you some good options that might fit better with your build and really help that text pop a little bit and make it a bit more unique. So I've got one that I like already called Augusta. So let's just look that up. And how to install these fonts is once you download them, you'll get a .ttf file and you just need to go ahead and place that in your users your user GIMP fonts directory. And then the next time you launch GIMP, it'll pick up that font and you'll be able to use it. So I'll go ahead and select that font now. And now we just want to start putting in our perks. So I'll put in my one-handed skill first. Now with this um, image I've got here, it's 2560 by 1440 pixels. So I'm using size 72 for my perk text. And let's left align that. And I like to blow up my headers a bit, so I'll make this header size 130. And we'll just go through and start adding the rest of them. Put in destruction next. Something you can do to save a bit of space on perk spreads that are going to be a bit busy, like this one, with going up to seven skills, is just list the highest rank of, say, your spellcasting skills. Because we don't need to know you've got novice, apprentice, adept, and expert destruction, because you're obviously going to have all those if you've got just expert destruction. Oop, no, that is augmented shock too. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of these and I will talk to you again in a moment. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my perks roughly laid out here now. And what we want to do is sort of just align those a bit more exactly to just make, th make things look a little bit better. Now I'm just shifting a few things around so that we've got a roughly balanced set of perks on each side. I'm not worrying too much about the exact spacing here, but obviously you can 
make sure each perk section is like exactly the same number of pixels apart or exactly the same distance from the edge or something along those lines. But um, I think that's good enough for me for now. Now, what I'm going to do is on the right side here, I think I'm going to right align all of these perks and it'll help it wrap around that little portal in the background there a little bit better, which could create a nice effect. And I'll center this smithing text here. Now that we've got all that done, what we can do is use the align tool to help us um, make sure everything is sitting nicely. So I'll start with one handed and conjuration. So select both of those and then use the align to top edge so that they're sitting at the same level. And then we'll do that with the left side of the left side perks and the right side of the right side perks. And lastly, we'll align the bases of all of the um, these skills on the bottom row here. Cool. So our last step is to make sure that everything's, well, clearly readable, um, especially when it's at a slightly smaller size on the Skyforge website, or especially if someone's trying to view your build on their mobile phone, which might be at a lower resolution than say a big desktop screen like this one. So, Obviously, we've got uh, what I think is a clearly legible font um, and we've got some good text size, which we should be able to view quite easily at a lower resolution, even down to about here. But the problem that we have now is that this big glowing portal in the center is obscuring, say, the edge of our destruction text and um, sort of around the sides a little bit here. But there is something we can do about that. So I'm going to use this um, select tool along with the select transparent areas and the maximum threshold to just go ahead and select all of my um, <clears throat> all of my text layers. Now we'll create a new layer, just a transparent layer behind all of those text layers. And what we're going to do is select the area um, basically behind all of that text. So now we've got all that selected, I'll increase the selection by 20 pixels. This isn't an exact number, but um, obviously you can pick one that works for you or your image size. And we're just going to fill that in with a flat black. Now what we can do is just lower the opacity of that layer to about say 40. So now they've got a clear background to sit on and it sort of helps them stand out against the background. And we'll just blur that by say about 20 pixels just to smooth out the edges a little bit. And now you're pretty much done. I think that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
If you'd like to follow along, um, I've done this using a free open source image editing program called GIMP. So you can hop online and download that for yourself. I'll put a link to the download site in the description. And if you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or hit me up in a private message here or on Discord or on the Skyforge website. Thank you for watching.